What's going on everybody and welcome back to another NRL tipping video. Uh, so this, this is for round 9 of the 2017 NRL season. Um, so yeah, definitely a mixed bag for myself uh, tipping wise last week. Uh, I know I mentioned that the, uh, the Titans are a tough team that you've got to play 80 minutes you know, to beat. And what do you know, they end up beating the Sharks. Uh, definitely didn't expect Manly to beat the Raiders, but um, yeah, they're, they're coming up with some big wins against some, you know, some premier, premiership favourites. Um, so kicking off the round this week, we have the Broncos versus the Panthers. I'm um, going to go for the Broncos here. I would say the Broncos by 12. Uh, Panthers just, just aren't getting it right uh, on and off the field, so to speak. Um, I think Moylan personally is suited more to the halves, but um, yeah, that's another, that's another story. So yeah, overall, just going to tip the Broncos here. They're at home. They should get the job done. Uh, next Friday night game, we have the, oh, sorry, the first Friday night game, we have the Rabbitohs versus Manly. I'm um, going to go Manly here, although obviously Rabbits were pretty un unlucky last week to lose against the Broncos. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go Manly. Uh, they seem to be playing better away from home, uh, surprisingly. But um, yeah, Manly here, I'll be saying Manly by six. Second Friday night game, we have the Cowboys versus the Eels. Um, I'm going to go for the Cowboys here, although only slightly. Um, Cowboys still missing you know, a few troops. The Eels are playing, you know, pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to the Cowboys here simply because of the home ground, sorry, home ground advantage. I'll be saying the Cowboys by four. First game for Super Saturday, we have the Titans versus the Knights. And personally, I think this could potentially be the game of the round. Um, Titans, quite like the Knights, they're quite similar in the styles that they play. And I think they're both teams especially the Knights, you know, that you they, they give 100% each and every week. Um, so I think even though the Knights are, you know, sitting at the bottom of the table, they haven't got the troops, that, you know, they just don't give up, just like the Titans. So, um, yeah, it should be a, a pretty close game. I'm going to say the Titans, though, and I'll say the Titans by 10. I think getting uh, Hayne, Proctor back, etc. has given them, you know, a bit of a uh, big boost. Next game, we have the uh, Bulldogs versus the Raiders. Um, of course both teams are losers from last week. Um, I'm going to go for the Raiders here, they should be bouncing back. However, in saying that, it wouldn't surprise me if the Dogs do win. Uh, typical Dez. Um, yeah, I'm going to the Raiders here, should be a close game. Uh, Raiders by six. Third game for Super Saturday, we have the Tigers versus the Sharks. Um, yeah, definitely didn't expect the uh, Tigers to win last week and didn't expect the Sharks to lose actually. But um, yeah, I'm going to go for the Sharks here. I think they'll be bouncing back from last week. They won't want to lose uh, two in a row, especially heading into the week off uh, for Rep Round. But yeah, I'm going to the Sharks by 10. Alrighty then, uh, we've got two games for the Sunday, starting off with the Warriors versus the uh, Roosters. Um, this game for me is extremely tough to pick, but I am going to go for the Warriors. Based on what they did against the Storm and also in the first half against the Raiders, I think they're definitely showing positive signs. And I know a win isn't very far away, so I'm definitely tipping the Warriors here. Um, but I think it would definitely be pretty close. I'll say Warriors by two. So the second game for Sunday, we have the uh, Storm versus the Dragons. I was going to tip the uh, Storm anyway, but now with uh, Woodup's injury, um, that even makes me more confident to tip the Storm. Don't get me wrong, I think the Dragons have surprised pretty, pretty much everybody this year. And I'm going to have to re-look at my uh, top 16 predictions, because I did have them at the bottom of the table. But uh, yeah, with no wit up, I'm definitely going to tip the Storm here. And I'll be saying the Storm by 10. As usual guys, uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, definitely let me know how you went last week, and also what your tips are for this week. And also, if you are... Um, tipping on nrl.com or any other website let me know what your overall uh, rank is thanks guys see you in a couple of weeks bye